Chapter 2 Introduction to HTML Hi students, how are you? I think you are very much interesting in studying this chapter. Does anyone use internet? Okay, fine. We will discuss more about how to create a web page. In this chapter, our objectives are familiarizing with HTML, working with HTML tags and introduction to web designing nowadays Internet widely used for information and communication. The information and services on internet are delivered through websites like text graphics, videos, audios, etc. Website is simply interconnected web pages. These web pages are designed using special programming languages called markup languages which are widely used today hypertext markup languages html hypertext markup language html creating an html document is easy to be coding using html you need only two things a simple text editor such as notepad, wordpad, etc. Notepad is the most basic of simple text editors. HTML was introduced by a British computer scientist named Tim Berners Lee in 1989. HTML is a simple scripting language to create a web page. The advanced version of HTML is HTML5. HTML document can be viewed on Internet Explorer and other browsers. Advantages of HTML It is easy to use and understand. It is supported on almost every browser. It is highly flexible and can be modified easily. Effective presentation can be made with all information effects. HTML documents can be displayed on any platform such as Windows, Linux, Unix, etc. It is widely used and established on almost every website. What is HTML tag, elements and attributes? HTML tags are the hidden keywords within a web pages that define how the browser must format and display the content. Most tags have two parts, an opening and closing part. For example, HTML is the opening tags and closed HTML is the closing tags. It always begins with a less than sign and ends with a greater than sign. HTML element It represents the root of a HTML document. The contents type along with the start tag and the end tag are called HTML elements. Examples Body Welcome to web designing Closed body HTML attributes. It is a modifier of an HTML element types and attribute either modified the default functionality of an element type or provides functionality to certain element types. In HTML syntax, an attribute is added to an HTML start tag. Attribute appears as an attribute name followed by on equal to sign and the its value. For example, font color is equal to green. Here, fonts is an HTML tag. Color is the attribute name. Green is the attribute value. Then, starting with HTML, open a notepad window and type the contents as shown below. Save the file as myhtml.htm. Remember the that the file extension should be HTML or HTML. HTML, head, title, welcome messages, closed title, closed head, body, welcome to my first web pages, closed body, closed HTML. To run these web pages in Internet Explorer, click Internet Explorer and open the file My HTML document. Now your first web pages is created. 
the web page will be displayed as a show in the screen then the structure of the html document the html document contains certain tags to inform the browser that the con document is an html document the html tags are divided into two parts the head elements and body elements the head elements start with the head tag and ends with the closed head tag this elements contains information about the document the tag title closed title can appears only in this section the body section is used to display text images hyperlink etc on the web pages to create a web page you will need four primary tags html head title and body all these tags are container tags one html closed html every html documents begins and ends with html tags this tells the browser that the following document in an html file second head closed head the head tag contains the title of the document along with general information about the document t title closed title title appears within the title tag as display the title of the page the title appears on the title bar for body closed body the body elements usually comes after the head tag and contains everything that will be shown up in the browser window the main contents of your page is placed within the body tag <laughs> students do you want to design your web page more attractively by using body tag attributes some attribute used in body tags are background it is used to design background of the document with pictures Syntax body background is equal to path bg color it is used to set the background color for the document syntax body bg color is equal to color text it is used to color the text of the document syntax body text is equal to color headline tags h1 to h6 Headline tags are used to display heading on the web pages in various sizes. This tag can be used to providing main and sub heading in a web pages. HTML document support six levels of heading tags: H1 to H6. The size of the text within the H1 tag is the largest and H6 is the smallest. Each of this heading always begins on a new line. Center tag, center. Center tag is used to align text center. By default, the text is aligned to the left side of the page. You can align the text to the center of the page using the center tag. Font style tag, B I U. Font style tag can change the appearance of the text. It is also known as physical markup. It contains three tags. They are bold B, italic I, and underline U. You can make a text into bold, italic, and underline by using B, I, and U tags respectively.